So to make sliders in GeoGebra um, for your functions, there's the data you're going to model. Um, here's the slider button. So if you just look up, and if you're not sure, if you click on the down arrow there, you can see all the options. So I'm just going to put three sliders on there. It goes, this is slider A. It's a number, it's not an angle. Could be an integer. Um, it goes from minimum to maximum. The integers, if you just only want whole numbers. And then you can decide if it's fixed, i.e. can you move or are you going to have it so that someone can't grab it with a mouse and move it around? Do you want it to be horizontal or vertical? How long do you want it to be? You can animate it so it goes um, backwards and forwards and changes by itself automatically and change the speed of that. Um, so we're just going to go for a normal interval for a number and we're going to do that three times because I want three different coefficients in my function model. And the function I think I'm going to go for is a quadratic, because I look at this data and I think that looks roughly quadratic, a bit like a smiling face. So that's the general formula for a quadratic with the coefficients that I want. And you see I used the same letters when I typed that in, if we double click on here so you can see that function. A because this is slider A, so that will affect B because this is slider B, and C because that's slider C. So I've used the names of the sliders so that they control those coefficients. So now when I move C, the quadratic moves up or down, left and right, and then vertical stretches. And up to you to try and find a function that fits the data um, using those. And when you think you found it, you can simply right click on there um, and go to object properties and show label. So at the moment it's showing the name and the name of this function that I've drawn is D. Um, but actually I want it to show the value of this function and the equation is going to be the value normally. And I can change its format in algebra, how I want it to express the quadratic. And when I'm happy with all the settings that I've chosen, uh, I just press close. I, I do want it to express it in this format, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And there's the equation of the quadratic. So now I can use that to make predictions about the other bits of data that are missing. And then for functions generated by GeoGebra or generated by you, like just rough lines of best fit through two points. Um, and I want to see what the equation of that line is now that I've just drawn, or the line of maybe a line of best fit that you asked GeoGebra to draw. Just right click on it again, object properties and show label. And again, you probably want the value because you want to see the function. You could also enter some words here like caption and you can go to algebra to check that I want the value to show. And I want it in y equals mx plus c gradient intercept form. So I can see that and there it is. You can do the same for points. Here's a point. If I right click on there and object properties um, really I could show a ca caption to show I think that that's the outlier, um, or I can show its value, which will be its coordinates. You can see its coordinates are now there, or I could show its caption to say outlier, etc. So there are options there. Best of luck.